Well, all right. Hello and welcome back to another episode of just trying not to screw up with the good work that Bree's doing, right? That's basically what the series has turned into. Anyway, I think I figured out what the black lines were on the thing. I think it was this guy right here. This, that guy. I think that uh, the frequency on her is not right or something. What we're going to be doing today is we got to squeeze these together because they got these little ridges that are going to drop that on the ground, okay? So we got to push those together. We're going to use these guys, these long, oh, whitewash, right? Oh, we're going to use those guys and squeeze these together. And then how I'm going to fasten them after is we got this guy. So I'm going to be drilling some holes through that guy and uh, it's going to sit on the end and they're all going to be flush there to cover up the ends and to also hold them together. We were originally going to try to uh, glue them, but test run was ugly. Basically, we canceled that idea anyway come look at Bree's work here look at all the nice wood grain that's come up out of it she does that with a special technique we're going to show you in a later video when we do the doors here we're going to try to get those doors cut and assembled measured and all that stuff not in that order hopefully Pfft. don't want to go outside because there's a pandemic going on you do anyway because you were going to home depot first right and you're going to canadian tire first and those guys come after ruining all your fun there because you that's your fun right you go to home depot you go to canadian tire you browse around look for ideas and projects and stuff things to buy like that's what we do as grown adults right as dyers right as Dyers, DIYers. You got all these tools, right? Making the uh, line up outside. There's people wearing masks. They got them on like this. And I got them on like that. Some got them on like that. And you're just like, guys, how'd you get this far? Nobody knows how you got this far. Then again, people could argue the same about me just for different reasons, right? How'd you get this far? Who knows, right? Your life choices are obviously under the scrutiny of a doesn't matter okay whatever gone on long enough so we got her all set up here as you can see there got her clamped along kind of bowing up some of the boards were extremely bowed right these are just clamparoos as you can see just push them together like i said they're bowed now what i'm going to do is take that right angler measure out the length of this on this guy and on the other side place the metal over it with two screws per board into the end that'll hold them together on the ends while giving it some rigidity rigid -ody. just plan your videos a little bit but pin snippers a lobster claw what are we looking for now? What are we even doing? Okay, so obviously this is too long, right? Bring out this guy here. Confidence tape, 68 centimeters, which is not quite 27 inches, but I'm pretty sure the shelf is not that either. Hang that guy off there, get it to a manageable length. One thing to note, whenever you're doing projects, whatever tools you have, just keep putting them in your pocket. By the end of it, pants can barely be standing up. Sawdust or whatever, vacuum it up, put it in the pockets. Old hot dog, put it in the pockets. It's gonna be going in there later. Just whenever you're done using them, just shove it in there. That guy's going right in the pockets, right? Right in the pocket. <laughs> So as you can see, this is what's happening here. That's not even close, right? You even measured her. But that's why we're cutting her, right? Scoffed her. Now we gotta cut presumably a little bit straighter. Good luck with that. Oh, that one went awry. So this end's gonna be too sharp for us, right? We don't want that to get a filer. So yeah, now we got that end going. Whoa! So we got the ends all cleaned up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark one notch on that, two on each of these boards, all the way down with this guy installed on there. We're gonna mark it on this guy. Okay, so now I just indexed her. Indexter's laboratory. We're gonna, oh good. Oh, yeah. So I'll cut that one after. So I ended up just using these guys, I think, last time. Bog guy there. Not sure what the wife was actually doing in here. I know she was staining, but like, it's kind of looking like a meth lab, guys. Am I married to Heisenberg? Now we're gonna drill into a piece of wood. Don't blunt your drill bits on the cement. So that's one. That's T. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Got those holes on there. Because we had the wood on the other side, it's also a clean hole there too, right? Literally. This side is going to be the side that's facing back of the shelf forward. So this will be the side you see. That's why this guy's going on underneath like this. That's why that guy's doing that instead of doing something else. So bold, guys. Literally. I also have to make sure to push those flat, I guess. So the reason why I chose to do it on the top as well instead of the back, which would be like less sightly. And so, to stop them from moving outwards, first of all. And because I was worried about it cracking if I did it the other way. I'm going to start in the middle, guys. No reason, I'm just gonna blasting away. Guys, we're making way better time on this shelf. Even though it's been weeks and months and years, we're making way better time than the first shelf. So not exactly even, but I mean, it doesn't have to be, I guess. So we just completed the other side. And so what happened there when I put a screw in there? It uh, split the wood there because there's a knot right there. So I just left it out. What are you gonna do? That's mint, guys. That's looking great. Check out this thing that just happened. <laughs> Sounds like a machine gun. Sounds like a thousand drums. Okay, anyway. So went upstairs and had some chips and salsa. And one of those San Pelican. So what we're gonna do here, this is gonna be uh, the final countdown. Basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna take these guys, drill through that guy, and it's gonna go into these guys, and it's gonna go there, and it's gonna hold it on, right? But first we need to line that up, don't we? Yeah. We, I think we can handle it. I'm gonna first do is stack some woods underneath this to bring it up to this height because that's exactly as far as that thing sits down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, in case you didn't notice, I flipped the shelf around. So this is the backside we're doing this to. 
the ugly backside stained just enough to hide it, right? It'll be against the wall, so. Bring this guy up here. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Allegedly. <sighs> So what I want to do is lift it up so it sits on top like that. And then I want to hold it in position with these guys. So I got a drill bit there that is smaller significantly, 30% probably. Because I don't want this to split the wood going in. Because, well, it also can't drill in because of that. But, but I do want it to actually create threads when it goes in. So I don't want it to be too loose or else what's the point, right? The other thing is I made it the exact length of this so that it would work as we designed her. I kind of need this ladder though, guys. Like you're kind of cramping my style here. Where can I put you? You're over there. It's just the camera. There's not actually anybody there. So once these are in, then we can go down the line and keeping her straight and whatnot and doing things. And it's very loud. Okay, so now that those ones are in up there, we can take these off, allegedly. Oh no, it's the other way. Why does it have a way? It's a clamp. Ow. Brie is a real person. I do have a way, believe it or not. Allegedly. So I'm gonna do the bottom one now. Not the exact bottom, but uh... Those apple bottom jeans, boots with... They can hear me outside. There's people there. Yeah, yeah. Ball parking her, guys. On the inside, who cares? So we have four more of those. Basically how it's gonna go on there. I'm gonna do the rest of them and then I'll get back at you for the reveal on the other side. And... All right guys, so we're done. Not the whole thing, don't get excited. We got this one there, got this guy there, that 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 guy there, and that guy there. And now look at her, but she's only uneven. She's not flimsy anymore, right? She's just uneven, so that's all right. But yeah, I'll flip her around and then you can see what it looks like. All right, take a look. So there she is. That's what it looks like with the backing on it, right? There's obviously doors that are gonna be here. That looks pretty good, eh? We decided to go with the pleated side like that because it just, I don't know, I think it looks better. Man, I'm impressed. That's right, flush, eh? That's good. But on the other one, there's a couple with wood filler, a couple we just left, right? We didn't know what we're doing. It was fucking like 10 minutes ago, right? It's looking good, guys, looking good. It's nothing without Breeze staining though, right? Like just fantastic. Did such a good job. This is the side that you're gonna be able to see. Anyway, almost out of batteries here, so yeah. Allegedly. Like, favorite, subscribe. I'm not a nerd. Well, they know now, right? Oh, okay. Allegedly. So keep an eye out for that spider. Allegedly. Who are you hunting in a quarantine, bud? Everybody's inside. Allegedly. Why are you hunting people, bud? That's fucked. Allegedly. Yeah, so what? I got a Peter fan going. I'm cold, okay?